Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome if you're watching on OneSpotMedia.com. The majority of Jamaicans do not agree with the appointment of veteran politicians Mike Henry and Carl Samuda to new cabinet posts. That's the latest finding of the latest RGR Gleaner Dunn Anderson poll. 1,071 persons, all registered voters, were interviewed from all parishes across the island. Prime Minister Andrew Holness made changes to his cabinet in June. Two veteran politicians were reassigned ministerial portfolios. First, Mike Henry was appointed Labour and Social Security Minister. He replaced Shahini Robinson, who died on May 29. Carl Samuda was appointed Minister of Education, Youth and Information. Before the appointment, Mr. Samuda was Minister without portfolio with responsibility for education. In this latest poll, Jamaicans were asked their level of agreement with these cabinet appointments. 27.6% agreed with the move. 72% disagreement. So the nation really were was but not in favor of those changes that were made by Andrew Holness to promote, promote really, Carl Samuda and Mike Henry. Also in June, West Portland MP Darrell Vaz was stripped of the Land, Environment and Climate Change portfolio. Mr. Vaz was reassigned days after an observer report revealed a controversial bid by the minister to obtain a 25-year lease that would have allowed him to construct a private cabin on protected lands in the Blue Mountains. He later withdrew the application following concerns about the move. Jamaicans were asked their level of agreement with the Prime Minister's decision to shift Darrell Vaz to another portfolio rather than dismissing him. There was some degree of ambivalence on this particular matter. 44% thought that it was a good move, um, but 55% said, no, nah, we don't agree with that. So more persons were not in favor of the move by Holness to shift Vaz into another portfolio within the, the ministry, within his OPM. On July 17, Mr. Holness relieved J.C. Hutchinson of his responsibilities in the Agriculture Ministry and transferred him to the office of the Prime Minister. The reassignment followed controversy over the decision by SCJ Holdings to allow a company, Holland Producers Limited, to take control of more than 2,000 acres of land in St. Elizabeth based on a recommendation from Mr. Hutchinson. Mr. Hutchinson's partner and the mother of his child, Lola Marshall Williams, was a director of Holland Producers. Though Jamaicans were not specifically asked about that matter, during the period July 24 to August 3, they were asked their views on the recent cabinet changes made by the Prime Minister. 4.8% said the changes were definitely not a good idea. 11.8% said not such a good idea. 45.4% said they were not sure. Only 23% thought it was a good idea and 14.8% thought it was a very good idea. So. If you wish you want to add those two together, you get about 38% who were in favor of these changes, but the rest of them were either unsure or not in favor of these changes. So um, I would like to think that the, the, the number of positives was not significant enough to have justified those changes. In the meantime, Jamaicans were asked whether the issues that emerged in the Integrity Commission's report should prevent former Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley from running for a seat in Parliament. The results show that Jamaicans are divided on this issue. 53.1% said no, the issues should not prevent him from contesting the election. 46.9% of the respondents said yes, he should be prevented from running. In the Integrity Commission report, the Director of Investigation used words like disingenuous and dishonest to describe Dr.